When we move further to the right, we get to the top of my closet and we see some more PlayStation stuff over here. These are some big box PlayStation 1 games. This is actually Godfather PlayStation 2 Limited Edition. This is the Crash Bandicoot 3 press kit. Really cool kit, comes with an inflatable t-shirt, etc. Gran Turismo 4, 5 press kit. Uh, some NES boxes. Action set. Uh, this is a super set. Speed racers with multi-tab. Uh, Nintendo 64. That's a complete in box Virtual Boy. And that's a NES Mega set or something. I don't remember. Then over here some limited editions for later consoles. PlayStation 3 Heavy Rain. Definitely one of my favorite PlayStation 3 games. Really cool Tomb Raider Collector's Edition for the PlayStation 1. Has the first three Tomb Raider games. Only got released in Australia and New Zealand. Also comes with a limited edition number. 10,000 got released. Some more PS3 sets. Borderlands, Far Cry, Duke Nukem Forever. And then this is a shipping box for uh, Game & Watch. Micro vs. System Donkey Kong 3. Um, you don't see those often, but when I bought my Donkey Kong, the guy in the store actually came walking in with a box like this, full of Donkey Kongs, and I asked him if I could have the box as well, and he said, yeah, why not? Gonna throw that away anyway. So I'm really happy with this. Looks really cool. Sega Mega Drive was the only Sega system I uh, knew of as a kid. Never had seen a Dreamcast, Saturn, Master System, or whatever. A friend of mine had one of these, and uh, I really loved playing them at his house. I uh, started buying the games we played as kids and later on I started collecting them. Up top there's two Game Gear games, both Sonic games. And then there's Mega Drive games. Sonic and Knuckles, which is incredibly hard to find in good condition because of the really poor design of the box. Then Sparkster, really cool game. Alex Kidd, Rocket Knight Adventures, which is also a Sparkster game. Castlevania, the new generation, also known as Bloodlines. Another Wonder Boy game over there. Rise Star, really cool game as well. Strider 2, loved Strider 1. Turtles Hyperstone, Michael Jackson Moonwalker, which I actually loved as a kid. I'm honest about it. I was a Michael Jackson fan and this game was great. Uh, some construction to conserve my light switch. Splatterhouse and Alien Storm holding it up. Golden Axe, also a classic of course. Fantasia, which I really loved playing as a kid. Streets of Rage 2, part 1 and 3 should also be in here somewhere. There's part 3. One Master System game, Sonic. Comics Zone, really cool design but really hard to play game. Some Sonic games. There's Streets of Rage 1, Strider 1. Toki, also a great game. And last is another Wonder Boy game. Then over here I have some more Sega stuff, Shenmue 1 and 2, and Sonic CD. But at the moment I don't have a Dreamcast or a Sega CD, so I can't play those. Some DS titles. Basically all games I picked up at a flea market. Also I have like four or five more of these, but those were at my uh, neighbor's kid. Because he has a DS but no games. Then some Xbox 360 games. I only buy exclusive games, so none that got released on the PlayStation 3 as well, because then I'd want the PlayStation uh, version. Dead Smiles, a really cool uh, shoot 'em up game. Tales of Vesperia, of course. Must have. Some Saturn games. I got a Saturn last week. Bought some games with it. Um, the best one out there is uh, Guardian Heroes. Really cool beat 'em up game. Then Nintendo 64. Basically my Nintendo 64 collection is very small, not a really big Nintendo 64 fan and I just uh, want all the good games and some of the rare games. I have Snowboard Kids 2 coming in, mint and complete, that which is one of the rarest games out there. But uh, it's not in yet at the moment of this video and um, yeah, bad luck. I'll show you that next time. Paper Mario, also a really cool game. But my absolute number one favorite game, Conker's Bad Fur Day. It's an incredibly great RPG, uh, RPG, I mean, um, platform adventure type game. So that was Nintendo 64. Next up is Game Boy. So let's get you an overview first. Game Boy games, up there are some more, some figurines, etc. Let's start all the way up. 
some Mega Man games, Final Fantasy, another Final Fantasy, Pokemons, Wario Land, some games I got in this week, Mega Man 3, then these are all alphabetical, Poktai, really cool with a solar uh, sensor, you get stronger if you play it in the sun, Castlevania Adventure, still looking for Castlevania Legends of course, one of the rarest big Game Boy games out there. Final Fantasy Legend 2 and 3, Gradius, some Mario, some Kirby games, Kirby's Dreamland 2, really hard to find game. Kirby's Dreamland 1 is one of my favorite Game Boy games. Mega Man 1 and 2, you already saw 3, still looking for 4 and 5, but chances of finding those are very, very, very small. Whole bunch of Pokemons. I played Pokemon Red as a kid all the way through. Loved that game. I was just just not too old to play Pokemon. And that was it for the Game Boy. So next up is Super Nintendo. Let's try to give you an overview again. It's not everything, but we'll get to the best games later on. Here we have Act Razor games. There is Twin. Contra. I have protectors on these games to prevent them from damaging each other. And as you can see, they kind of give a mirror image. That's why you see me in these games. I'm trying to minimize that by getting an angle. I have all the really rare games set aside, by the way. You'll see those later. Then some PlayStation 1 Special Editions to fill up the gap. Same here. Some uh, combo sets which uh, come with uh, CD cases. This is actually Prince of Persia 2, but it doesn't have the name on any of the sides. Really stupid design. Secret of Mana, Secret of Evermore, Ranma, a half. Quite hard to find game. Super Bomberman 3. The complete uh, Super Star Wars set, the next one is in the next row. Mario games of course, mandatory for any collector. UN Squadron, really cool shoot 'em up game. And those boxes I showed you already. Then here's a small selection of press kits that I have. I have about a hundred press kits and some of those are very elaborate but uh, I don't have room to put them all on display. Here's a few more SNES games. Then these are press kits, Colin McRae 2, this is uh, Moto Storm Pacific Rift, Sly Raccoon, Killzone, um, Heavy Rain, Vip Ribbon, don't remember, Everybody's Golf, 24, uh, this is the Getaway, Spyro, Resistance 2, Primal, this is a really rare Transport Tycoon version for the PlayStation 1 which comes with mouse and uh, pad. Final Fantasy 8 Limited Edition and Final Fantasy 10 Press Kit. Some more press kits over here. This is by far my favorite press kit. It's on Ghost Hunter. And if you want to see more info on these press kits, get to see what's inside them, etc. Check out my channel. I have press kit videos on pretty much everything I have here and a lot more. Um, this is um, Dragoon, Legend of Dragoon, Gran Turismo 4, Killzone 2, and some book, Infamous 2. This is a Die Hard set. Um, this is Secret Agent Clank, I believe. Beyond Good and Evil press kit over here. Uncharted 2. These are my only two uh, Turbo Graphics games Blazing Laser Bunks Adventure, Wu Tang Clan Limited Edition for the PlayStation 1, Gun Sets for the PlayStation 1, press kit for iPad and iPad Invisimals for the PSP. This is a really rare Sniper Ghost, uh, Sniper Something Something limited edition for PlayStation 3. Only got released in Austria. Uh, Austria. These are all Phoenix games. These are all shit. And if you want to see info about them, check out my game review. I made a review about um, one of these games, Girl Zone. And uh, yeah, Phoenix is really low quality. Over here we have, this is Diablo 3 limited edition. Still playing that, great game. 
Um, Buzz limited edition, also great to play because Buzz is a great game like I said before. And this is the Godfather press kit. And if you want to see this, and trust me, you want to see this, check out the video. It's, uh, it's an amazing set. So last overview shot before we go to the next part. Like they say in those MTV Crips videos, this is where the magic happens. These are my display shelves and this is where I keep my, uh, my rarest and my most special games. So, this is an overview. As you can see up there, a lot of NES games, a lot of SNES games. Um, didn't put the PlayStation games there because I have them in, those, in the PlayStation cabinet. Do have some special editions for the PlayStation there. Um, so, let's start top left. Let's go over there. What you see there is a God of War PSP press kit. Same goes for this one, both PSP versions. This is the Ghost of Sparta, that's the Chains of Olympus, or the other way around, don't remember. That's the God of War 3 press kit. This is some PlayStation 2 limited edition. Ninja Cup for the GBA, which is one of the rarest Game Boy games out there, Game Boy Advance games, if not the rarest. God of War 3 Ultimate Trilogy edition with the really cool but low quality box. In the back there's Arkanoid for the NES, some sealed mask toys, that's a Medieval 2 press kit over there, and we'll get to the rest later. Then Rodland for the NES, complete in box, stadium events for the NES, the European version, so not the American version, complete in box in absolute brand spanking new condition. Over here my rarest Sega game, Mega Man, The Wily Wars, then some NES gems, Little Samson, Banana Prince, uh, this is uh, Chevalier du Zodiac, that's a uh, horseman of the Zodiac or something. Super Turkin, Adam's Family, Priestley Scavenger on Troll Crazy Island, Euphoria, Snow Brothers, Die Hard, Jetsons, Hammering Harry. If you're an NES collector, these names uh, must ring bells for you. SNES Big Boxes, Super Metroid, Secret of Mana, Lufia, Terra Enigma, Time, uh, Illusion of Time of course, and the best one and rarest one of them all. Earthbound. Then up there we have Action 52, 100% complete, and with 100%, I mean 100%. Check out my video on what should be in a 100% complete Action 52 game over Ryzen and two other rare games. This is a complete unbox Donkey Kong Jr. tabletop. Then we have some press kit stuff Mega Man 9, Patapon, uh, Mod Nation Racers, limited edition for Metal Gear, limited edition for type uh, blah blah racer, rich racer type 4. Then to the left again we have the Chronicles of Sir Francis Drake. If you've played Uncharted that reminds you this is the Uncharted 1 press kit and with that I'm blocking the Zelda Game Boy Advance limited edition. Zelda games, Zelda games, Zelda games, all Zelda games. These are the CDI Zelda games and I have every variant so big box, small box, box with sleeve, Zelda, of course, Zelda's Adventure, the rarest one. Some G, some uh, handheld Zelda, Zelda games. Back there is the limited edition for the Phantom Train thingy, Phantom Hourglass. No tracks of something. Can't come up with the name. Game Boy Zeldas. Game and Watches. This is the one where I got the shipping box with. Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr. Then some SNES gems. I can't say anything else than that because Chrono Trigger is of course one of the best games ever. Still love that game. Mario RPG, Final Fantasy 2, Final Fantasy 3, Soul Blazer, Lufia 2, in the back Metal Gear 4, Castlevania Limited Edition still sealed, Assassin's Creed 2 Limited Edition, the black one, not the white one. Over here some more SNES gems. Vampire's Kiss, Super Metroid, Ninja Warriors, Battletoads vs. Double Dragon, Demon's Crest, Mega Man X, Mega Man X2, and the only rental game in my collection, Mega Man X3. Box and uh, manual and game are in mint condition, but the box is an X rental. It's cut up, as you can see. But yeah, finding that game in complete condition, tough luck. Let's get some more light out here. Some more Game & Watches. All complete by the way. 
And then for a quick overview of my PS3 PSP collection, nothing really special in there. Current gen is not really what I collect. I do of course have some cool games, but nothing really special. And below here there's my Xbox 360 limited editions. And next to that are the Warcraft, World of Warcraft limited editions. Uh, I have Cataclysm as well, but that's up in the attic because that's sealed. This is a really cool photo frame which has PlayStation branding. Uh, also has a PlayStation memory card and it got uh, given away at a PlayStation promotion event. And this is a Warcraft 3 press kit, Warcraft 3 Reign of Chaos. So that was it for the collection room. Now we're off to the attic where I have a lot of more stuff.